hello students how are you all hope you all are fine so today we are going to begin with our next topic unit 3 3.5 the donkey so kindly remove your textbook page number 68 now everybody has seen this animal in your life now uh this poem the donkey now see there are so many animals which you had seen but the poet he has only written the poem only about the donkey why and what message he want to convey now see uh many a times whenever we want to pinpoint at somebody calling him that you are a fool at that time we say that you are a donkey but see uh whatever qualities god has given it these qualities these are the sides of the same coin now in this poem the donkey here it describes about the behavior of a newborn a donkey for whom the life is a new experience as he is taking the first steps of his life he clumsily tries to walk around his huge head and shaky loose legs making it all more difficult for him to do so so the poem ends with the poet hoping that the world around the foal that is a baby donkey would treat him with care so the poet is very much concerned about the donkey that is a baby donkey which is known as foal now this is the baby donkey as you all can see so let's move ahead with the poem the donkey i saw a donkey one day his head was too big for his neck to hold his legs were shaky and long and loose they rocketed and staggered and weren't much use now in this first stanza the poet is speaking about the one day old foal when he tries to explore his surrounding but how it was how it described that the donkey is one day old and his head is too big and the neck is too weak to hold it and the legs are shaky and when he tries or renders his steps rather than clumsy and then normal see when uh, when you get hurt or when you are being your hand or leg is fractured after a certain period of time when you try to make movements you feel that you are too weak to make any movement so the child so here the donkey that is a baby donkey the foal when is born at that time when first time when the first time he gets up his legs are very very shaky he tries to frolic and leap but doesn't quite uh, know how to do it now uh, in this uh, stanza the line the rocketed they rocketed and staggered he wanted to make sad make sudden movements move suddenly now when a person when a person doesn't know where he want to go for example a small child all of a time he makes he makes movements here and there because the child doesn't know that where he wants to go only he want to make movements similarly is the foal he also doesn't know that where he wants to go or what he has to do so he is making uh, he is making trying to make uh, the movements he is trying to explore the world in his own way 
and here they said and weren't much use because he because he don't know that that where i want to go or what should i do because the world is completely new for him he tried to gamble and frisk a bit but he wasn't quite sure of the trick of it his square little coat was soft and grey and curled at his neck in a lovely way now here if you see in the second stanza that uh, he is trying to be frolic and leap that is he want to be happy so is moving here and there but he doesn't quite know that how to do it gamble means to leap or to or you can call it uh, when you make the movements in a playful manner here and there but he doesn't know exactly what he has to do and his head just like human baby is too heavy for his weak neck to firmly hold it and he add on with a strange coat in the guise of the soft grey fur in a lovely way around his neck his face was wistful uh, and left no doubt that he felt life needed some thinking about so he blundered round in a venturesome quest and then lay flat on the ground to rest now here if you see in the fir- uh, in the first line of the stanza his face was wistful that means when he hoping something everybody in his or her own life always has got hope hoping about the good future hoping about the good health hoping to help somebody hoping to get help of somebody so here uh, everyone hopes for something or the other so here also according to the poet uh, the face of the donkey is how it is full of hope it is wishing for something it is longing for something now here if we look in this uh, stanza that is the second stanza we find that the rhyming words in the second stanza is for example bit it and uh, grey way rhyming pairs are formed when we hear the particular sound for example it bit grey way and uh, even in the third stanza you have doubt about round ground these are the rhyming words in this stanza now coming to your rhyme scheme if i if we look at this first stanza now uh, rhyme scheme exactly means what when you look at the the mm, this is a stanza right first stanza in this you have got lines in a paragraph we say sentence but in a stanza we say lines so in the first four lines if you observe the last word i saw a donkey one day old old then in the second line his head was too big now look at the just observe the sound for his neck to hold now old hold sound is similar his legs were shaky again e shaky so here the rhyme scheme of the first four lines is a b a c now why it is a b a c why not a b c d or something like that now old now in your line the last word the type of sound it's made we write down a now in the second line the sound is different so write down b 
in the third line again old and old the sound is same so again it will come a and the fourth line the sound is different so it will come c so a b a c and so likely so likewise it will be going on a b c d or a b a b or a a b b or or you can call it a b b a so it depends that means if the same sound is repeated so only we are writing again a and a if the big was being repeated if the sound of big big pig pig something like this was being repeated then it would have been a b b c but now here it is old and hold same sound so a b a c now coming to your uh, figures of speech in poetic devices we always include the pair of rhyming words then coming to the rhyme scheme and now the figures of speech now if you look at the figures of speech in the figures of speech uh, i saw a donkey one day old now in this line the sound of d is being repeated d i saw a donkey one day old so in this first line here the figures of speech is alliteration because the sound of d is repeated for better poetic effect and this is how you'll appreciate the poem and uh, whenever you are answering or you're writing about the about the personal response it is completely your views what you write down so here his face was wistful and left no doubt that he left um he felt life needed some thinking about so he blundered around in a venturesome quest and then lay flat on the ground to rest so in this stanza uh the wistful see uh, everybody or every person has got hopes in his life hoping for good life hoping for uh, for much better future hoping for something good to happen in your life hoping to achieve your dreams hoping to help somebody hoping to get help of somebody so here also this uh, this fool he is also hoping that somebody will help him he is full of hope he is uh, longing for something and left no doubt that he felt life needed something about now now some thinking about see a child when he is born he is looking at the world in a very different uh, way his whole perception is different so here also the donkey has just born so he is thinking what the world is about how will the world accept him why is he born so he blundered round now blundering round in a venturesome quest he is thinking that something adventurous is going to happen in his life his face looked very serious almost as if he was thinking of something that life longed for and uh, and here if you look that uh, he is waiting for some adventurous thing to happen and quest means search so he is is searching for some adventurous thing and then lay flat on the ground and afterwards he realized there is nothing to do so he again sat down on the ground he looked so little and weak and slim i prayed the world ma- might be good to him now after making the unsteady movement here and there 
he was uh, waiting or thinking for some adventurous quest adventurous that means uh, quest here it is you can call it search also just when he lay down to relax so he lay down to relax and then the poet realized how how uh, funny he was he hoped that the world treated the uh, now here we can see that the he is hoping that the world would be very very good uh, towards the donkey so he queer means uh, you can call it as odd and the frisk means to gamble gamble skip and dance here and there so he wanted to dance he want to he want to explore the world slim means when when a person is very very thin enough so here uh here the donkey is full of the hope but the poet he want to request he want to say that please be very very uh empathetic or you can call it uh at least have some feelings for donkey also so he wants the world to treat him in a very good manner and the poem is written by now here the poet when a poet doesn't write his name he want to he doesn't want to reveal his identity at that time he writes anonymous so the poem is been written by anonymous so here we find that uh, uh, in this poem that the the poem ends with a with a poet hoping that the world around the baby donkey will, will treat him with care and love so i hope you all have understood the poem uh, very well and uh, now here in this poem they had also uh, spoken about the young ones of the of the newborn babies what they are called for example the foal uh, and then the cub the calf uh, now one more thing uh, if you have never seen a newborn of an animal and if you had seen it what was your experience how you had felt about it so the poet is trying to tell you all that please think of about it and then next thing is what that take uh, take care of them so i hope that this poem is very clear to you all uh, and if you like my educational video students kindly like it and subscribe it thank you once again and god bless you all